this is your third Olympic Games with Blair. What would you tell your 2016 self going into the Games? <laughs> yeah, well, this is my fourth personally as well. So it's um, yeah. something that's a, always an incredibly special moment. You know, the Olympic Games is such an incredible sporting event that it's a real honour to be able to represent your country at. And you know, I think looking back at um, my Olympics, they've all been incredibly different. Uh, obviously my first one in Beijing, you know, being a, a pretty young Kiwi and getting that um, experience quite early and then winning a silver in London, gold in Rio, I think just gives us that extra bit of motivation to you know, give it our best in this final part of the build-up. Is there anything looking back that you were nervous about before that you're a bit more calm about now? <laughs> Well, I think one thing's for sure, it's going to be quite a different Olympics to any of the other ones I've been at. Um, you know, I think COVID's really put a spanner into the world and you know, it's going to be about whoever deals with those, um, I suppose, challenges the best. But yeah, it's something that you know, I think having been there before and seen it a few times, you definitely get a, a little bit more comfortable in that environment. But you know, I think it's, it's just like anything, you know, practice makes uh, things a little bit easier. And what is the one non-sailing essential item that you have to have with you when you travel to the Olympic Games? <laughs> Not sure. Um, yeah, definitely got plenty of non-essential travel things. Um, yeah, like your headphones and stuff for the plane, pretty good. But yeah, I think um, yeah, just trying to keep things pretty normal. You know, making sure you keep in contact with your mates, and you know, we play plenty of card games to keep the mind fresh. But you know, it's just going to be about you know, just being prepared to, to react to situations. And 2024 has already been talked about. There's a lot of cuts, additions in the sailing world. Where do you think Olympic sailing is evolving or what do you want it to evolve into? Yeah, well, it's definitely going uh, in a pretty cool direction. You know, I think you know, it's pretty cool to have classes like the 49er in there. Um, you know, we're, we're very aligned with the FX. Um, but yeah, I think it's just... Yeah, keeping on encouraging the, the growth of the sport and you're know, really showing um, consistent pathways through for young people. Uh, you know, it's definitely been a little bit hard for, I suppose, young athletes to, to have something to focus on, but you know, it's great now that the IOC is locked in on some passes going forward. Final question. What is your Dark Out song? Do you have a pump-up Dark Out <laughs> song you go to every time? Uh, yeah, well, I'm a pretty relaxed character, so I don't really have a, a pump-up Dark Out song or anything like that. You know, we just... Yeah, go through a pretty uh, relaxed routine, you know, make sure we um, have ticked off all the things we need to do and yeah, just ready to roll.